Lilmaman, kapamilyaman, susunod pa rin sa'yo. But brothers and sisters in the Lord, you cannot do it without the power of the Holy Spirit. So tonight, this is a challenge. I will not stay long. This is a challenge. I want you to be sensitive this night. Because God is in this place. Why was why I considered God is in this place? What is this place a long time ago? This is just an ordinary building. What is this place a long time ago? We don't have, we are not here in this place a long time ago. But because of that direction of the Holy Spirit, we were we were able to acquire this place because the very purpose of and plan of God in this in this area is as He releases powers to all of us, yes, you will be a powerful witness to your place, to your area, to your family, to your neighbor, and then she said Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and then to the most part of the earth. Is he a man that he should lie? No. He is God because there is a proven fact. You are, all of us, tonight. It was God who brought you here and received his, this powerful message because you are not a powerless Christians. You are a powerful Christians. Amen. Receive the tribulation right now because I do believe that you and I you and I are His instrument, especially in these last days. Before that, they will come that He He will wipe up this planet Earth. You and I will be will become an effective witness of His goodness. That Jesus is alive. Amen. amen. Hello, amen. It's not a dead God. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. He's the risen Savior. The Holy Spirit lives inside of us. Tells us. Be on fire. Serve God faithfully. No matter what. Tell people, evangelize your neighbor that Jesus is alive. Amen? Yes. Shall we rise up together? Magatindog kita. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Of course, the word of God tells us, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Born again is not a form of religion, but it is the power of God. We cannot convince people to come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. It is He Himself. But we do believe that the Holy Spirit will convince them. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is alive. He is a person. You can grip Him. You can grip the Holy Spirit. Of course, you can quench the Holy Spirit. But I tell you one thing. If you want to be blessed, the Word of God tells us that He gives that we might have life, but have it more abundantly. Life of this planet, abundant life, is not only materially, but also spiritually. Balance your life right now. Serve God faithfully. You want that your family is always kept in the hollow of His hands? Let the Holy Spirit move through you. Let God move through you. Because it's not, it is not yourself. It is God Himself. It is God Himself through the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, I just want to thank You. And I give You praise, give You glory. That I believe sometimes some of us, we need a power of the Holy Spirit. We need to experience that revival. He said in 2 Corinthians 7, 14, If my people, if my people, who are God's people anyway? Very few. If my people, who are God's people? If my people shall humble themselves, take away that pride. If my people shall humble themselves and pray, and will turn away from their wicked ways. What is that wicked ways? At one time, we curse God. At one time, we lie to God. At one time, we prioritize the material things of this world. At one time, we don't even go to the church. At one time, we don't even open our Bible. At one time, we don't even know the Holy Spirit. But I tell you one thing. If my people shall humble themselves and pray, you cannot do it. I tell you. He be the earth shall pass away, but His word shall not pass away. The things that you can see right now, by your naked day are all temporary. But Jesus came. Who came? Why did He su suffer Himself on the cross of Calvary? Why did He give His beloved Son? For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. What is the purpose? Yes. To give you an everlasting life. But on this planet Earth, temporarily as we exist, the devil is always out there to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus sent forth the Holy Spirit to give you the power to tread on the serpent. His enemy is the serpent. 
He wants you to become strong. Your relationship as husband and wife. Your relationship with the family. He wants you to be strong and to be sensitive to the power of the Holy Spirit. So that, of course, brothers and sisters in the Lord, He wants you to enjoy life. Life that God has promised to us. Are you here tonight for that purpose? To receive that power? Amen. Amen. Tonight we'll sing that song. Come Holy Spirit, we need you. Come Holy Spirit. Do you know that song? Yes. Holy Spirit, we need you. Come Holy Spirit, we need you. Spirit, come. I say, sing that song. This is the second. Because the Holy Spirit right now will empower you. The Holy Spirit will revive you. The Holy Spirit will give you power. If you have sensitive tonight, I don't believe that the Holy Spirit will ever be designed in your body. If the natural father asks, his son will ask for a name. When he gives him a stone, how much more for our heavenly father? If you ask the Holy Spirit, To, come, to be recharged. Recharge. What do you mean by recharge? Is your battery low? Come for a recharging. If you have not experienced the baptism of the Holy Spirit, come. The Holy Spirit is here to baptize you. In this last days. In this last days. In this last days. Lord, we thank you, Lord.
touch my thumbs, touch my spirit, touch, touch my heart to God. Let the Holy Spirit bring me to me. God, use me. Yeah. <laughs> 